All right, we got another update on our project. Once again, we are pulling compressed air, or we're pulling rather uh, warm, humid air from out of this tank. There's a, an air space in the top of this tank, otherwise the tank is full of water. The temperature of the water It is 109.4 degrees. So the suction line of the compressor is pulling that humid air down and into the compressor. The compressor is then increasing the temperature of this warm humid air to 300 and 20 degrees approximately, 323 degrees. And it is coming down into our Tesla turbine, which is running at about 50 PSI, maybe 60. The temperature leaving the turbine is 177 degrees. So we have about 150 degrees worth of difference. And then the discharge of the turbine is leaving and going back to the back of the tank. And it re-enters the tank below the water line where it condenses and the condensate is removed from the turbine discharge and the warm humid air then returns back to the compressor for recompression. So it is coming in at 115 degrees. It is leaving. At 300 and 23 degrees, entering the Tesla turbine and leaving the Tesla turbine at 178 degrees, going back to the tank, and it just, the cycle repeats itself. And the tank temperature will continue to fall during this process. Now 111.9, similar to the other video. Now the Tesla is running this three-phase motor, and this three-phase motor is self-excited and connected to a bank of capacitors here. The capacitors are then attached to this rectifier bridge, full wave rectifier bridge. And we have at the inlet to the rectifier bridge an alternating current. Can you hold that up for me? 45.3 volts alternating current which is then rectified into DC. And the DC is connected to this battery bank, which is now at 59.6 volts. And we have uh, six batteries hooked in series, so they are fairly discharged. And that voltage is increasing, uh, and it's being charged by this capacitor and uh, a three-phase motor combination. So this is without voltage regulation and it certainly will uh, potentially overcharge the batteries if we're not careful. All of this is being run currently by an inverter which is in fact hooked to the grid running at 120 volts and currently running uh, 2.1 kilowatts in order to keep this running. Now this will accept DC input. So what we are doing is we're going to set uh, 
a 200 volt system together so that the inverter is running off of the batteries which are hooked in series at 200 volts and I can use that all the way down to 180 and then this can charge in fact that little three-phase motor can charge uh, at 480 volts it's currently wired for 230 and because of the battery being the actual voltage regulator we are only in fact um, uh, putting out 45 volts um, 45 volts AC three phase AC and that is a three phase motor okay I'll give you another update later but that's what we got going on so what we will do here eventually with the larger Tesla turbine and with other turbines is we're going to show that the vapor compression can actually output more than what it inputs and we are going to uh, feed the actual inverter that's running the compressor with the actual batteries which are being charged by the actual turbine and that will prove that we can get more out of the tank of hot water than in fact what we are putting into with the system because it will be pulling the electricity out of the batteries to run the inverter the inverter is running the compressor the compressor is producing the vapor compression which is supplying the turbine with heat and what uh, moisture water vapor and then recharging the same batteries on a loop now we're not violating this is not perpetual motion there's no violation of any uh, laws here what we are going to be doing is in fact pulling heat which is supplied from the tank in the form of waste heat outdoor wood boilers solar thermal collectors doesn't matter where the waste heat comes from the point is we've only got 112 volt or 112 degree temperature in the water and uh, we should have a break even about 140 degree temperature is what we assume but i'll keep you posted and that is uh, the state of progress so far in our little experiment hope you enjoyed it i appreciate you uh, stopping by thank you